Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm excited to be with you here today. We're gonna to get started as always with our student creed. So feet together, hands by your side. Repeat after me. I'm a dedicated martial artist. Student creed begin. Ada, go ahead and say it along with me now. I must develop myself in a positive manner and avoid anything that could reduce my mental growth or physical health. Number two, Ia, I must develop self-discipline in order to bring out the best in myself and others. Number three, Ia, I must use common sense before self-defense and never be abusive or offensive. Number four, Ia, winners never quit, quitters never win. I choose to be a winner. Number five, Aya, this is a black belt school. We are dedicated. We are motivated. We are on a quest to be our best. So, ready, set, courtesy. All right, so the black belt lifestyle skill that we're working on this month is fitness. Go ahead and say that, say fitness. And when we talk about fitness, we're talking about keeping our bodies healthy. Last time we talked about different types of fitness. Um, and this week we're gonna focus on aerobic fitness. So that's the type of fitness that's like running, bicycling, swimming, things that really get your heart rate up. And martial arts can be one of those things as well. All right, so we're focusing on doing that type of fitness because it's gonna help us burn any extra energies or fats that we have in our body and keep our body nice and lean and healthy. All right, so we're gonna be doing some activities today to help focus on fitness and just keep that in mind all this month that we wanna think about how are we keeping our bodies healthy? All right, so think about that as we go on to this next activity. All right, so I mentioned this before, we're gonna use Temple Run to help with our fitness this month. All right, so when the Temple Run person is running, you're running with them, all right? I don't wanna see a light jog like this, all right? We wanna get our heart rates up, right? We wanna build our fitness. So we really wanna be running in place. So we're bringing our knees up, our hands up. We're running, right? We're running for our life like that little uh, temple run person is, okay? And then when the temple run guy goes underneath something, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a burpee. So what a burpee looks like is you're gonna hit the ground, do a push-up, jump back up and keep running. So it looks like this. Down, push up, jump up, keep running. All right, so if he goes under, that's what you're doing there. If he goes up, what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump up. You, I really want you to think about using the, like the toes and the ball of your foot to really spring up. All right, so when you're running, you're gonna use both feet. You're gonna spring up, bring those knees up, and go right back to running. Okay, so those are our two things we're doing. When we're running, we're bringing that heart rate up, and we're building our fitness. All right, so remember the other word we're working on this month is accuracy. Accuracy means doing the right move right and hitting the target. All right, so we're gonna get our green stripe at the end of this month for accuracy. So how we're gonna practice our accuracy drill today is we're gonna work our roundhouse kicks again. Now, if you didn't have the opportunity to watch the video last week, I definitely break it down, go into a lot more detail in that video. So if you need the reminder or you want that detail, 
go ahead and watch that one. If not, you will still, I'm still gonna go over it and you'll still get what you need from this video. All right, so let's practice. We always have four parts to every kick. Say them with me, say chamber, kick, re-chamber, down. It's very important we have those four moves to do the move, to do the kick right. Otherwise, we might kick and we might not have the power we need. We might injure ourselves. All right, we need to have those four parts. When we do a roundhouse kick, whatever leg we're not kicking with, those toes are facing away from us. So go ahead, put your other toes away. And just a quick review, when you do your chamber, your knees towards the target, we're gonna hit with the shoelace part in the shin of our foot and our leg. It comes around, three chambers, and then down. So just a quick example, it looks like chamber, kick, re-chamber, down. All right, as flat as possible, like if you're holding a piece of pizza on that chamber and you don't want it to fall. All right, so let's do three together. So again, a guard stance, do this with me. Ready? One, two, three. Good, and switch stance. Same thing on this side, ready? One, two, three. All right, and just a quick review on how to kick with your back leg. So we still want our toes we're not kicking with to face backwards. So we're gonna do a little cheat step. We're gonna turn our toes, hopefully you can see my toes turn sideways. So when I bring my chamber up, I can keep rotating that back foot. All right, and I'm still gonna do the chamber kick, re-chamber down. So let's do three back leg roundhouse kicks together. We'll land forward and then step back. Ready? One, and forward, step back. Two, last one, three. All right, and why don't you stay facing this way? Because we're gonna use our new back leg. We're gonna do three together. So you turn those front toes, still do all four parts of the kick. Ready? One, and forward, step back. Two, and back, three, good, in time. So that's the right kick, it's the roundhouse kick, and how to do it right. Now, we're gonna go into our accuracy drill. So what's gonna happen is, Fruit Ninja is gonna come up on the screen. So you're gonna see a bunch of fruit fall. You're gonna use your left leg only for the first round. So you're gonna get into your guard stand, your belly button's facing the right, you're looking at the screen, your left leg kicks where the fruit is. All right, so where I, where the fruit gets exploded, that's where you're kicking, that's your target. All right, so you're working on hitting the right target with the right technique. All right, so let's go. Second round, still gonna be Fruit Ninja, but you're just using your right leg only. So your belly button's facing left. Wherever the fruit gets sliced, that's where you're kicking. All right, and just a tip, in case you didn't do this first time, where you point your knees, where you're going to kick. All right, so if the piece of fruit is kinda this way, a little low, point your knee there, chamber towards it. Kick, re-chamber, down. All right, so round two. Let's go.
third and <laughs> third and final for a ninja round, you can use both legs. In fact, I want you to use both legs. All right, use that back leg. Practice turning your foot and kicking. All right, you want to get practice in from all different angles, kicking all different ways. Um, so this fruit ninja is gonna come on. As you're gonna see the fruit get sliced. You can use your front or your back leg. Make sure you are doing a combination of both though. And you're hitting that fruit. It's like hitting your target. All right, so let's go. All right, so it's time to do forms. We're working on Action Friday Form 2, Part B. In the first video of this week, I broke down into a lot of detail what each move was supposed to be. So if you weren't able to watch that video, I highly recommend going and watching that. Um, it has all these details, like I said. I will still break it down and give some details with this one. It just won't be as in-depth as the first one. So you certainly can just watch this video and get the details that you need. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna break down the form, we'll go through it, and then I'm gonna give you a challenge on how to practice on your own. So let's practice together. Feet together, hands by your side. Action Karate Form 2, Part B. And remember, when we get in a guard stance, we start by throwing our back fist, and we're going to the left, we're in the left guard stance. So we get in a guard stance and we throw our left back fist. All right, move number one is a kneeling punch. So you're gonna put your right leg on the ground. You're gonna punch with your right hand. It's a vertical punch and the other hand is pulled back. Move number two, we're gonna go into a right reverse bow. So we're gonna stand up, point our belly buttons towards the right. We're gonna bend our right knee. Our left leg gets straight. We're gonna take our left hand. We're gonna do a low chop or knife hand. And our right hand is going to come up at like an L and is ready to block. It's in that knife hand chop position. Move number three, we're going to take our left leg. We're going to make sure it comes behind us so we can keep our eyes on the target, which is the video. Go ahead and do that. We're going to now bend that left leg. Our right leg is straight. We're going to switch our hands. So our right, our right hand does a chop, that knife hand down, and our left hand is doing that block up. So you have that um, L 90 degree angle ready to go. And those are our moves for Action Karate Form 2, Part B. All right, so let's do it together one more time. We'll end with our set, and then I'll tell you what you'll do to practice. Action Karate Form 2, Part B. Guard stance. One, two, three. And set, victory, humility, courtesy, man, give yourself a hand. Nice job. So now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have some music and you're gonna see me on the screen. I'm gonna be doing Action Karate Form 2 Part B over and over and over again and I want you to practice along with me. So you can look at me if you need help um, to know what the moves are, follow along. If you wanna challenge yourself and maybe not watch and just keep practicing on your own, you can certainly do that too, all right? So we're going to have about um, at least two minutes, between two and three minutes to practice our form. In the early days.
is when we turn the page, put scars on our hearts. Like a mystery, couldn't find the way, all wrong from the start. into somebody's arms to get them to let go so you can breathe and you're gonna push them away it's important to use the knife hand part of your hand you're gonna push that into somebody instead of just pushing like this it's gonna give you more power that way so you're gonna smack it into the person the person who's trying to hurt you and then cover up because it's really important that we get away right we don't want to just stand there and wait for them to potentially uh, try to hurt us again all right hands up I don't want any trouble. Ready, arms come up. We're gonna step back, we're gonna drop our elbows, drop our weight, try to get them to let go of the choke. Then you're gonna push them away with your knife hand. Then you're gonna take one step, two step, yeah. And let's do that one more time together. This time I'll say go, and I want you to do the whole thing. You can watch me, I'm gonna do the whole thing with you too. Someone's choking you, say, I don't want any trouble. We're gonna step back, drop your elbows, Push, one step, two step, yeah, and time. All right, so now you're gonna see me come on the screen. I'm gonna be doing the self-defense. You can follow along with me, practicing it over and over and over again. A great way to help us get accuracy is by repetition, right? So we're gonna keep doing it over and over again so that we do it right, we're doing it awesome. Um, it'll be about two or three minutes to have some music playing. So let's get after it, let's start practicing. Sweet love, yeah I didn't mean it when I said I didn't love you 
protector, your feet, shin protectors, groin protectors, mouth guard, all of that stuff. The reason I'm telling you this is because eventually once COVID isn't a thing or isn't restrictive, we're going to be able to spar in person. So it's important to be able to know what it feels like to do these moves in your actual gear. Now I'm not going to put the gear on and the reason being is so that it's easier for you to hear me um, and see what I'm doing on the video. All right, but if you have to, pause the video, get your gear on. Uh, if you don't have gear, you can talk to a McCoy um, and they can help you with getting some gear. What we're doing for sparring is a little bit of adding our fitness in and working on that footwork, that fast movement that we worked on last week. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by doing what's called a leg lift. So what that means, we're gonna have to lay on the ground, so lay on the ground. Hopefully you can still see me. All right, so our back is fully flat. I want you to push your hands up and you're gonna make a diamond or a triangle with your hands, all right? And that's what you're gonna do, but you're gonna put it underneath your butt, kind of at the, where your butt and your back meet, and it's gonna be underneath there. Then you're gonna put your legs straight out. Hold on, I'm gonna move back so you can see me. Legs straight out, toes pointed. Now to do one leg lift, it looks like this. You lift your legs up, come back down. They almost touch the ground but not all the way, this is touching the ground, this is almost. And then you come back up and down, up and down, so on and so forth. You're taking your abs, your stomach, you're gonna feel it there, you're gonna have to tighten it, you're gonna have to use those muscles to help your legs lift up and down. So come onto the floor if you're not here already. Let's do five together, and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do a drill with this. So come on down, make that diamond, put it underneath your butt, Legs straight, po uh, toes pointed, ready? One, all the way up, hold it out. Two, up, hold it out. Three, up, 
Hold it up. Four. Up. Hold it up. Last one. Five. Up. Hold it up. And drop. Nice job. So those are our leg lifts. Now what you're going to do is you're going to do one leg lift. So don't do this actually. Just watch. You're going to do one leg lift. Then you're going to come up really quick like this. You're going to guard stand and throw back this. Then you're going to come back down. You're going to do two leg lifts. So you do one, two, come up fast. And you're going to do two back lifts. One, two. All the way up to five. So three leg lifts, three back lifts. Four leg lifts, four back lifts. Five leg lifts, leg lifts, five back lifts. And then you're going to come down, but you're going to do back lifts with the other hand. So if you start with your right hand, when you come down, you're going to do your left hand. So you're going to do five leg, leg lifts, five back lifts. Four leg lifts, four back lifts. Three leg lifts, three back lifts. Two leg lifts, two back lifts. One leg lift, one back lift, and then celebrate how awesome you are. All right, so I'm going to throw some music on so you'll have time to do this. Um, if you need longer, pause the video to finish up. Um, but this is going to work your fitness. It's going to help you be fast for your sparring, and it's going to help you uh, work that back fist, which we have in our form, and is a really good technique for sparring as well. We get almost every night When that moon is big and bright It's a supernatural delight Everybody's dancing in the moonlight Dancing in the moonlight Everybody's feeling warm and bright It's such a fine
courtesy and give yourselves a hand. You did awesome today.